Welcome. In this video, we're going to demonstrate to you how to add strong authentication to Windows Remote Desktop Login, which means two things. Adding an open OTP server to your DMZ or similar place in your IT estate. Adding an open OTP credential provider plugin to the Windows server to which you would like to add the strong authentication to. Here we assume we already have an open OTP server in place and connected with Active Directory. We run the MSA file inside the plugin package and that will launch the installation wizard, which is mostly about just clicking next but there are a couple of important fields. Then locate the plugin that we downloaded from the www.rcdevs.com website, in which, and in fact, all the software is freely downloadable, including the plugin here, as well as the open OTP server itself. A Windows plugin now permits us to log in with any OTP. That could be a one from SMS, YubiKey, hardware token, or Google Authenticator type of a software token. But it can also be from OpenOTP's own software token, which is the one we use here. The rest of the settings are more fine-tuning the login, for example, for customizing the login message. And we'll skip setting any client certificates for now. We can always reconfigure these after. And our installation is all complete, nothing more to do, and we'll just log out and re-log in again, now with an OTP. So we open up the token to see the running one-time password, just as you would with a Google Authenticator. But the Open OTP token has a couple of handy features to it, like that the application can fire up automatically, which we'll show here. Now, after having entered the username and the password, the Open OTP login starts. And we can see our token application fire up automatically, now displaying the code we should be entering to the prompt that appeared on our Windows login. We type that in and we're inside. Now, that was the one-time password-based Windows login. Next, we can go a step further and try the login with our smart one-tap push notification-based login. But before that, let's have a quick look at what happened on the OpenOTP server end. In logs, we can see the whole trace of the login, the access profiles we used, which was the challenge we configured to our plugin. We can see that our server did the GeoIP match on the login, how long it took for the client to respond, and many other details, such that you can feed, for example, to a syslog if you needed to. Then going back to our Windows server, we rerun the plugin setup wizard now to enforce the mentioned smart one tap login. We can leave all other settings as they were, but we changed the challenge value and client ID now to push to resemble to a profile value we have on our open OTP server end. Again, we log out and log in again, now with the push, which you'll soon see how handy that can be. We type in the username and the password, and bling, our token app fires up again. But this time, we don't get the prompt of the Windows, and the token doesn't display an OTP that we should enter. Instead, our token simply prompts us to approve or reject. And we click Approve, and we're inside. That instant. The Open OTP logs will again show a trace of everything that took place. But for your strong authenticated logins to Windows, that's all there was to it. To get your own Windows server added with strong authentication, simply download the packages from the www.rcdevs.com/download. Thanks for watching.